What's going on, y'all? I'm here to talk about all the really cool buffs and changes I've made to both Weezing and Galarian Weezing uh, in my ROM hack. But before I get into the logic for explaining why I did certain things or how it all works, uh, especially the moves and stuff, I highly recommend if you are new here uh, that you check out the description. Uh, I have a lot of detailed bullet points explaining the basic background info about how this ROM hack is balanced and why it's balanced the way it is. Uh, when you're done with this video, you can check out the move sheet link down below as well. That's super, super important because, uh, well, the Google sheet itself is important, but the move sheet especially has all types of crucial information for understanding how the game functions. It's all organized very neatly for your uh, viewing convenience. So give that a look if you haven't already. Uh, even if you're a returning viewer, if you haven't done that yet, don't click off the video just yet because it'll mess up the watch time. You know, make sure you all watch to the end. Drop a comment, drop a like, sub if you haven't already, all that good stuff. It really does help support the channel. I know it's annoying when YouTubers ask for that kind of thing, but it is very useful. So, uh, yeah, with all that out of the way, Weezing and Galarian Weezing. So, uh, Weezing and Galarian Weezing. So, Galarian Weezing actually has, uh, is one of the few Pokemon in this ROM, in this ROM hack to have none of its abilities changed. Uh, and then Weezing, of course, gained a new third ability over Stench uh, in Flashfire, which I elaborate a lot on in the Sweltering Sun video for this guy because the ability carries over from Sweltering. Of course, the stats are different, the moves are a little bit different, all that stuff. Um, and just the overall climate of the game is much different, but um, the logic for Flashfire is the same as it always was for me. It's a very cool uh, fitting ability for them. If you read the Pokedex and whatnot, it, they're like the poison gas Pokemon. A lot of their stuff is about like uh, just like mixing gases and expelling the gas. Um, I think specifically just the fact that it's mixing gas makes Flashfire a really cool thing, especially because Weezing is known for like using some fire type moves and i like that so much more than making it actually fire type uh, i think pure poison pure poison Note is already one of my favorite defensive typings in the game it's just really fucking solid like you resist grass fighting poison bug and fairy uh and of course in uh, in an in-game context you know even stuff like bug resist is really useful or poison resist um it's just good man it's just really good typing and then you add on the levitate of course and you add on flash fire so in this rom hack you can easily switch your abilities at will so you can essentially switch from levitate to flash fire to neutralizing gas depending on the situation depending what pokemon on the uh trainer you know the boss fight upcoming that you need to that you want to counter or, or uh fight easier so and I'll, not to mention Flashfire also has that offensive element, right? It also allows you to get stab on fire moves if you switch on a fire move, which is really sick. Um, Black Sludge, as you can read, is insanely buffed. It is a 1 8 heal, not to mention these guys get ex access to exclusive... I can't speak. Exclusive Baneful Bunker. Uh, super... Uh, not, it's pretty early on. I mean, it's a reasonable level. 45 is pretty reasonable for something this bulky to get Baneful Bunker with Black Sludge. Um, so you can use that to get double Black Sludge, you know, for free. And you also get free poisons on anything making contact. So it's super, 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 super strong. Um... Man, I really do like both these guys. I definitely prefer Kanto Weezing, but of course Galar Weezing is cool. Um, there was a point in time where I was considering Poison Steel Galar Weezing, but there was already, um... There was an equal number of Poison Steels to Poison Fairies in the hack, uh, I believe. So, uh, or maybe it was two to, it was one to three or something, and then it would have made it two to two. But I just think that Poison Fairy is a more unique combo for him, especially because something like Reverend Room already exists. Um, so yeah, that's that's why I opted to, to, go, to keep the Poison Fairy. And then, um, Poison Fairy is obviously also a very good defensive typing. It does actually have some downsides. I mean, of course, you lose uh, the Poison Resist. Uh, and you also gain a weakness to steel, but you gain you you also gain a resist to dark, which is huge. And you also get a four times resist to fighting and bug, which is cool on a frailer Pokemon, but on something that's this bulky, it's not as impactful. I would say the main I mean it's not bad, it's never gonna hurt to have a four times resist, but it's already tanky, right? So the main thing is that you trade a dark resist for a steel uh weakness, and then of course you have that dragon uh, immunity, but I mean Weezing already has base Weezing, Kanto Weezing already has two immunities in dragon and ground. So dragon and ground Sorry, fire and ground versus dragon and ground. That's kind of a trade-off there as well. Really, uh, the two, the which, whichever one you choose, purely depends on your personal preferences, which design you prefer, your team composition. You know, if you're playing Team Locked, which again, if you don't know what that is, I recommend you pause the video and read the description. It explains that more in depth. But uh, you know, choosing which one to evolve into is definitely a big choice. Um, I personally think that the fire immunity is way cooler um, than. G Weezing, but G Weezing is of course good. Um, so neutralizing gas, I mean, I'm gonna explain more about why that's useful in a bit, but Misty Surge is another, obviously, a, a difference between the two forms. Um, so Misty Surge allows them to 
essentially either override terrain, activate uh, your teammates' terrain pulse. Pretty much every special attacker in the game gets terrain pulse. So if you have a Misty Surge Weezing, it makes it super easy to switch around and get you know your 100 base power fairy move on any special attacker, which is definitely nice for coverage or other situations. Uh, and yeah, overriding the ally, you know, uh, opponent's terrain. You know, if the AI has like an electric or grassy terrain team or psychic terrain team, it's very nice to override that. Uh, and then you can also do some other shenanigans with it. Like, I mean, being immune to status is actually pretty good when a lot of the boss fights in the, in the hack might have uh, para or burn or sleep running, running around because uh, those are very good disruptive tools. Um, I'm not going to lie, I think that's definitely an underrated effect in an in-game context. Of course, in competitive, it's like huge. It's the main reason you use Misty Surge. But in-game, it's... I wouldn't say it's the main reason you're using it, but it is useful to not have to worry, either worry about hacks or just straight up be immune to like sleep moves or para moves that the AI is throwing around or burning stuff. So that's that's definitely good. Uh, it's nice to be immune to status. So that's the benefits of Misty Surge. And then um, neutralizing gas is really good because in this ROM hack, literally every single Pokemon has three good abilities. So being able to turn off abilities is inherently just a really strong uh, thing to have, especially when the AI is going to have like boosting abilities, you know, ruthless, sharp, I mean, Ruthless Sharpness, all types of uh, boosting abilities, uh, expertise, all, all, I mean, I could name a million, right? There are dozens and dozens of boosting abilities in the game. So being able to negate the effects of them is, it's, it's insane. You're, you're, you're ne negating the damage output of a lot of offensive uh, AI trainer Pokemon uh, just by switching in, right? And you're already a very bulky Pokemon. Speaking of, I did make them much, much bulkier. Um, I think Weezing makes sense. I mean, in a, in, a, in a ROM hack with this type of power levels, I think him being really tanky like this is, is cool. Um, his stats are technically, I mean, they are different than they were in Sweltering. He's a bit less, tiny bit less defense, tiny bit more HP, tiny bit less special attack, tiny bit less pedef. But overall, it's pretty similar. Um, I mean, even on a special side, he's, he's pretty tanky now. He's kind of like a reverse Muck in that regard, where Muck is more especially defensive, Weezing is more physically defensive, and then Muck also has the water immunity as opposed to the fire immunity and other interesting things, which I'll get into when when, when we get to the Muck videos. Um, but yeah, I, I, I love Weezing and Muck, man. So... Yeah, that's really cool. They also have their own exclusive sets of moves. So Noxious Gas is an incredibly strong debuffing move that Weezing has. It's exclusive to him, Rev of Room, Colossal, and there's one more. And probably more as time goes on. But for now, it's Rev of Room, Weezing, Colossal, and... God, there's one more. I'm blanking. Uh, Skuntank, Skuntank. So that's obviously really good on them. And obviously, you know, there's lots of other cool stuff like Skuntank as Prankster to abuse with that. But regardless, it's an, it's a move that drops attack, special attack, and speed by two. So it cuts them in half. And it poisons. And it has uh, two PP. So you can use that twice, which is really, really strong. Um, and of course, that pairs nice with Venezhok. That pairs nice with Baneful Bunker. It pairs nice with, I mean, just in general, neutering the damage output of the opponent. Um, you've also got Deflate as an exclusive healing move. So not only do you have straight up recover, and then just that huge Black Sludge. Uh, I mean, you don't even need to run heal moves half the time because Black Sludge is giving you so much health back. I mean, Poison type is my favorite type in the game, so that's why I buffed Black Sludge the way I did. Um, it's it, Poison and Bug are my favorite, but yeah, um, super, super good. And then G Weezing, of course, can still abuse that Black Sludge. It still has Baneful Bunker, all that good stuff. However, instead of Noxious Gas, it has Aromatic Mist because um, Weezing's whole thing is that it doesn't actually smell bad anymore. It's, like, uh, helpful. You know, it anti-pollutes. It, like, clears the pollution out. Uh, meanwhile, Weezing is the one who's causing the pollution, so... Just got a text, hold on. Okay, we're good. Um, yeah, Aromatic Mist is similar to Noxious Gas. It doesn't poison, but it does drop attack, special attack, and special defense by minus two. So dropping Spadef is a really nice little tool because it, it can allow you to um, like kill something you wouldn't otherwise be able to kill. It's just a nice little effect. And then uh, you also have Strange Steam, which is the same effect as Noxious Gas, but instead of being minus two in poisoning, it's a damaging move and it's minus one. So uh, you get a 90 base power, you know, Fairy Stab, which is your strongest Fairy Stab with no drawback. Of course, you have Eternal Beam, but that deals with a little bit of recoil, which, you know, is really easily offset with, with Black Sludge and stuff, but it's definitely something to consider. Uh, but Strange Team is good because it's offensive and utility, so you can use, like, Black Sludge, Strange Team, and just spam that for a bit and keep making the opponent weaker and slower. You can also just click Strange Team and then outspeed the next turn and finish them off because of the minus one speed drop, so those are all really good uh, things you can abuse with Strange Team. Um, and yeah, I did create that to mirror that Noxious Gas effect. Um, otherwise, I mean, they have, they got fire moves, although I did make Detonate and Overheat exclusive to Galarian, sorry, to Cantonian Weezing. Um, stuff like Stockpile is obviously very good when they're so bulky with that Black Sludge stuff. They've got stat clearing stuff like Haze and Clear Smog to help with like setup on the AI. Uh, priority like Sludge Shot, Gust, and Ignite. Uh, I did give them some cool flying type moves, like, to, again, Deflate, because Weezing's whole thing is like that he's like a poison gas like he's filled with gas 
and he expels gas. Um, I chose not to give that to we G Weezing though, because G Weezing's body to me, I interpret it at least as like more metallic almost, like it's harder. So I feel like he wouldn't be able to like shrink or increase his size as easily, but I, I can definitely see Weezing doing that. So that's why I gave him deflate. That'll give him, uh, you know, just a strong priority heal uh, over recover, which is not priority, which means he'll, you know, a lot of the time you'll be clicking that second and it heals less as well. Um, so with Movery Learner, you can really take advantage of all of these tools whenever you need them. You're not always going to want them. Um, I also gave them really good utility in the form of, like, Parting Shot, which I personally believe that if the Pokemon gets both Taunt and Dark Pulse, they can probably have Parting Shot. And um, I went back and forth about giving it to Jeeweezing, but, I mean, again, it learns Taunt, it learns Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse is, like, thinking dark thoughts and making a, an attack, and then Taunt is, like, literally, I mean very similar to parting shot in terms of flavor um i am more strict with parting shot distribution now in in the uh, scramble than i was in sweltering like much 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 more strict but i still think you know like these shithead poison type guys can still learn it and use it and obviously that's a great defensive tool given how bulky they are i mean that black switch i mean it's in an insanely tanky it doesn't die man it's so strong and bulky and of course that special attack is also very very solid um especially when you have movie learner to teach coverage whenever you want you can slap on your fire electric dark ghost all this good coverage you know whenever you need it so that's a super useful thing uh, and then of course gweezing has the added benefit of the fairy stab and the fairy coverage um so that's all really good as well but yeah that's why i gave them some like wind moves like icy wind tailwind gust uh that kind of thing it's because whirlwind you know because the whole thing is like they're expelling gas um it's pretty much it it's pretty straightforward overall they're both just super tanky super, i mean even like offensive tailwind stuff could be pretty good because 60 base speed in game with plus two is outspeeding everything in the game so you could totally take advantage of like a tailwind you know a couple of coverage moves uh, even body press is very strong because of that 125 defense so that's good fighting coverage um in conjunction with your you know your poison and your ice and your not your ice well you do have icy wind for earlier on but later on that would only really be used for either utility or for um i mean if you got terra ice then it could be good but you also have terra blast at that point and yeah um if it's like a four times week mon of course you could you could slap on icy wind to, to kill that uh that's the beauty of move relander right all these like niche coverage moves become incredibly useful tools um also will-o-wisp 100 accurate that's a great burning guaranteed turn a uh, guaranteed tool that's a uh, two pp so you can burn two things guaranteed um Acid Reflux is great, that drops Spadef and Poisons. Toxic Spikes is obviously very, very good, especially in an in-game context where you can, uh, there's like basically no drawback to it, right? You can just click it and uh, the opponent will often have no counterplay to it outside of like preventing it from going up in the first place. But if they don't have a Poison type, which they won't always, you know, it's an in-game, so they're gonna have like mono-type teams, uh, you essentially get a free Poison on pretty much all their Pokemon. So that's a really good tool to the point where I might even have to like limit it in the future. We'll have to see as the game goes on and once it's out, but yeah, it's pretty much it. Um, straightforward overall. I love them both. Again, I, I, I've already made it clear that I prefer the Kanto Weezing. I think the tools are a lot cooler, but I'm also just, I don't know, I think Weezing's a bit silly looking, but I, I still like him. I like the colors a lot. Um, I like the concept as well. So, yeah, uh, thank you for listening. Uh, leave a comment down below if you made it to the end. I do appreciate all you guys who do watch all the way to the end, seriously. So make sure you drop a comment so I know who you are. Uh, sub if you haven't already, all that good stuff. And I'll be back for more coming up. Peace.